If there's anything that people love on YouTube, it's big numbers. As soon as you see a big number, your brain starts going blah, 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 and you go crazy. And this is a game that does exactly that. This is Roll, which came out a couple years ago, but the 2.0 update of Roll has now arrived. The developer is a really awesome dude, uh, a good friend in the community for me. Um, and he reached out to me and said, hey, check out the 2.0 update. And I happily obliged because Roll is cool. There's 90 new shop items in the game. There's three new game modes <laughs> in the game. Um, there's now a, a dice opedia, which I think is potentially this. Yeah, so it's basically a, a bestiary of all the things. There's airplanes now. There's coronaviruses. Like, who, who knows what's going on? Uh, in Roll, and there's also a brand new tutorial, which apparently helps to explain a little bit better all of the things in the game, uh, and that's something that I had actually asked for <laughs> in the game. Um, I felt that it was, uh, you needed some way to kind of explain a little bit more in the game. So I'm excited to check it out, let's play, and see what's going on in, in Roll 2.0. Um, so I'm going to play the classic Roll, which is uh, 2,500 Rolls. Actually, dude, you know what? Let's play quick roll today. 1,000 rolls I get... Nah, let's do classic. <laughs> let's do classic. That, that's easy enough. So there's all kinds of all kinds of stuff that you now can see here. Um, we start with one standard die. Shop level is one. Some of this is not going to make sense until you, uh, you get into the game and, and, and see what's going on. I would like to play the tutorial. The new and improved one. Welcome to roll. Click anywhere in the highlighted area or press any keyboard key to roll the die. I will click. So, I rolled a six. Every time I roll a die, my points will be collected here in the point bank. Keep rolling to gain more points. There's a five, here's a three, here's a four. And as you can see, this number in the top right is going down. Um, so that, that gives us... There's also so many stats now. Look in the bottom left. Highest scoring die was die one with four. Um, total score for the last complete roll was four, yeah. <laughs> All of this is, is relatively logical for right now. I'm just going to keep on rolling. Um, we only get 2,500 rolls, right? So every time I roll my dice, I spend one of my rolls. Uh, and the goal is to have the most points up here when that roll counter reaches zero. So I'm just going to keep on rolling a little bit. Don't stop. Try to reach 170 points by continuing to roll your die. Okay, let's let's just spam it a little bit, um, and we'll get up to 170. It's a little bit of carpal tunnel simulator. One more. There we go. I can afford an upgrade. So press tab or click the dot next to your point bank to open the shop, where I can purchase upgrades for my dice. So this now is where the meat and potatoes of the game comes in. Welcome to the shop. From here, you can pay the cost listed under an upgrade to gain its effect. Hover your cursor over any item. Try purchasing one of the upgrades. Okay, so for 170, let's take the thing that is, that is exactly 170. Um, we will add the number 5 to the number shown on the numeric face. So I'm going to put it right here. So now we have two sixes, which is awesome. Select your next upgrade, click the next one you'd like to purchase, even if you can't afford it. Doing so will flag the upgrade and you will automatically be returned to the shop. So let's, what is this? So this is the, the a one times re-roller. Attaches a one times re-roller to a die face, re-rolls the die it is attached to one additional time when this is rolled and it doesn't count on the roll counter. That's very good. I'm going to flag that, and then we're going to keep going. So keep going at your own pace. Uh, don't be afraid to explore and experiment so much to discover. So I'm going to hold down my space bar uh, and get us up to, it's gonna return me to the shop when, when I reach the appropriate amount, and now I can add my, my re-roller. So let's do that on a, sure, on this six, I mean, I suppose on the two, it's effectively the same <laughs> at the current moment in time, so that's that's okay. Um, and the next thing I'd like to do is I'd like to unlock um, the shop, which is going to give us higher quality upgrades and give us an additional die. So I'm going to lock this, and then we're going to... Uh, I, no, I'd like to lock you, and then I would like to go back. And then we're just going to... Uh, we're just going to spam and, and get up to 400 and whatever. And you'll see that, I mean, our, our, 
our points are going to go up a little bit quicker than they were before and that's that's effectively that re-roller uh really coming into uh play here because it's occasionally giving us double the amount right so this is good increase the shop level upgrade the shop to the next level to unlock more shop items and gain an additional die so now i got a second die that i can mess around with which is obviously very good um i've gained a free restock which is also cool did i not buy this <laughs> am i losing my mind i never bought it what the frick i'm horrible <laughs> okay um I must have done something wrong before. Let, let's get that on there. And then I was like, what, why? I felt like it should have showed up on the screen. Um, yeah, it should have shown up on the screen. Let's let's buy this. So this is going to go on this. Yeah, okay, that's, that's much better. That's much better. So now hit me with the shop refresh. Second shelf is now unlocked. Um, you now have access to shop items on the second shelf. Items purchased here will replace faces on your dice as opposed to the items on the first shelf, which modify your dice faces. Interesting. Um, that's, a, that's a change, for sure. Or at least something I never realized in the game. So these will replace on them. So let's take a look at what we got here. So a plus six is fine. Um, add a lock. Adds a 400 roll lock to a die. The lock die cannot be modified and will have no value for 400 rolls. After 400 rolls, the die will become unlocked and dupe itself. Dude, I think that's sick. Um, a three times reroller is also sick. I think there's some really cool things here. Um, th these are both pretty good. What are you? Adjacency multiplier. Replace a die face with a five times adjacency multiplier. This face is worth five times the sum of all adjacent numeric die faces. And it has friendly rerolls. Friendly reroll is a reroll which can gain value from dice that were not also rerolled. A reroll which can gain value from dice that were not also rerolled. Okay. And this applies to the four dice directly above, below, to the left, and to the right. This is not important yet, but we'll get there. Replace a die face with a four times numeric multiplier. This face is worth four times the largest rolled face. This is also good. Um, here's what I would like to do, and this is a two times adjacency reroller. Replace a die face with a two times adjacency reroller. When rolled, all adjacent dice are rerolled two additional times. Okay. Here's what I would like to do. I want this next. Actually, I want this next, because that's going to be quick for us to get that one. Um, it's going to just happen very quickly. Um, so get me, get me to, excuse me. Do we also, can I, can I see this, this is this little uh, magnifying glass in the bottom left does not appear to be doing anything. Okay, no, our re-roller was on there. We're good. Um, give me this 15er. I'd really like to put that right here. My goal is basically we're going to buff out this first die. I can change the roll speed. Let's do it. <laughs> roll speed is going to move to quick. And my bet is that that is going to... Oh, yeah, okay. Now now we're, we're cruising. Now we're cruising. So that's going to allow us to get through some of these rolls a little bit quicker. Give me this guy, which is going to go right here. So that's now going to re-roll three times. Then I want to put a lock on that die. Okay. Um... Or I could put a six on it first. <laughs> Maybe we're making some interesting decisions, but I, I think that I think it's going to be beneficial. So I'm going to add a six here. That, that's now a real fricked up looking die. Then I'm gonna grab this this little uh, this little lock foil. And we're gonna see, like we're we're gonna be getting significantly higher uh, numbers quicker here. And that's the intention. So now we're going to add a lock. We're going to add that right here. You are now locked for a little bit. Oh, it'll have no value for 400 rolls. Oh, that's going to be an issue, actually. I didn't even think about that. I thought it was just going to lock what was on it. I can't read, so this game's tough for me. Um, okay, that's fine. That's fine. I think now I would like to do this. An incrementer. Increments the face it's attached to every time it's rolled. This is important. 
I mean, both of these are important. Um, this 13 is also, like, really good. <laughs> Let, let's do these and then the incrementers, but what do we have here? Replace a die face with a die rebate. If this face is face up when a new die is created, the dice's next roll will be worth an additional 250 for each die added. That is... Interesting. <laughs> I don't actually think that's very good, though, so I'm, I'm gonna chill with that. This is a, an adjacency reroller. This is the blank die generator. Replace a die face with a blank die generator. Every 30 times this face is rolled, it generates a new blank die. Okay, well, hold on. Now, now you got some interesting things here. Because now you have the die rebate to go along with the blank die generator. And there might actually be a play here. But I want this first, and then I want the incrementers, and then we can go from there. This is this is a mess, okay? I, I have made some mistakes. But it's going to be fine. So give me the 13 right here. Um, incrementer is going to be next. I'll do the cheap one first, but I, I may do both, okay? I may do both. That 13 is going to, to hit every once in a while. Now you go incrementer, put that on the 2. And then we do this incrementer. And I don't know how many rolls we're at on, on our die on the left before he unlocks and, and makes a new one. But I think what we would like to do is get this incrementer, put it on here. And then I'm going to actually lock this sucker and see if maybe we can get it to activate. Lock, okay, locked for 266 more rolls. So now put you on to here. Is going to be fine. I, I should probably unlock the shop as well in order to... I can force that to occur as well, which is interesting. Give me the blank die. No, you know what? Next up... Oh, yeah, that's going to upgrade the shop, but it's not going to reroll it. Okay. The shop upgrade is the next important thing. And the incrementer is going to, to pop, man. Like, this, this die is going to keep getting good. Which, granted, our, our lock die is now actually significantly worse <laughs> than it was before. Look at this die, dude. It's going crazy. We're in the 30s on some of these. This is actually, like, really good. The incrementer kind of went kind of went off on this one. Whether or not this is beneficial, I haven't quite figured out yet. So, now we have the, the extra... Oh, except I played this wrong. Because I needed this. I'm, I'm dumb. I needed to wait for the... I needed to wait for that to be on top when I... Uh, okay. Okay. We're... It's fine. Okay? It's fine. Plus 10 for 302. That should pop pretty quick. Okay? And it, it did. So give me this. We're going to put you onto there. I do think that this is important. Okay? Because we're now able to generate dice a little bit. At least, like, a tiny bit. It's not it's not a lot of generation of dice, but it's not horrible. We're at 30 more rolls before we uh, we get our, our dice back. So that's fine. You're going to go on to here. And now I think I re-roll, because I, I do not need much. Third shelf unlocked. Items purchased here will create new dice. Okay. So that's just a standard die. This is a die with random faces. <laughs> I do think that this is a good idea, okay? We're taking a little bit of a risk, but I think it's a good idea. Um, however, we are going to wait a little bit. Okay. We want to make sure that our 250 rebate is up when this runs out, okay? You're seeing it's starting to it's starting to go a little bit. So we do not want to buy you yet. I want to wait until my rebate face is showing. And and it will. Okay, we're right there. So now you buy this and that should have given me 250 from from this before the next roll. So it's random. <laughs> okay, that's fine. That's fine. That actually makes me feel a lot better. You can hover over this, see stats about your most recent 
highlight your highest scoring dice. Okay, yeah. It's, it's good to know. It's good to know. Give me a plus nine. I'm just going to put you on, like, this guy. Dude, do you see this random die we made? It's actually a banger. This is a great die. We need some multipliers, okay? No, don't look at this. This is scary. There's a lot going on in there. We, we need some multipliers. Two times the, the highest. That's completely fine. Probably said die face with a lottery face. One rolled 30% chance to be worth 100. That's actually completely fine. Attaches an incrementer to all six faces on a die. It's also banger, really. Um, there's some good stuff here. Let, let's... That's another die rebate, but this time a thousand. <laughs> okay. Let, let's get this. So we're going to put... So you are replacing a die face. Let's put you here. Then I want another die rebate. Because I, I actually think it's it's fascinating. But I want this incrementer first, I think. I'm, I'm going for... I, I want to create dice. I, I think that that's going to be the, the ticket to our success. Is creating dice. We're going to add incrementers to all of you. Then I'm going to get this die rebate. It's 1800. Believe it or not, that's going to happen way faster than you think. I mean, that that was not that many rolls to hit that. So give me you. I'm going to put you here. This die on the left is a little chaotic, but that's that's okay. Then we're going to do this. We want to create dice. Die with a 3 times adjacency reroller. Can I move my dice around? I cannot. Okay. It's good to know. Good to know. Lo a loyalty card. Replace a die face with a loyalty card. Every 1,500 times this face is rolled, permanently reduce the cost of all shop items by 20%. Ah, uh, it's just never going to happen, brother. <laughs> it's never going to happen. Choose any two die faces. Positions will get swapped. Two times multiplier to the die face. Is good. Is really good. Attaches glue. When a face with glue lands face up, as a result of a reroll, it gets stuck on the glued face for the next three rerolls. That's real good too, man. That that's real good. This is a top right. This is a bottom left. Give me this top right modifier, okay? So that two timeser, we're going to put on this ninety-five. Okay, and then the way that I see it, we have this re-roller, but these are not adjacents, right? Can, can we, can I, <laughs> I need, I need to look at that again. So the, the adjacency re-roller is you. Yeah, so that will, yeah, I think I have this right. I think I have this right. Then I want this, and that's going to go on that 95. Replace a die face with a quantity die generator. Every 150 times this face is rolled creates a new quantity die. I think that's important too, to be fair. Um, but I, I think I want this glue first. Give me the glue first. We can get this stuff a little bit quicker now. Like, we can get to 3,000 in very quick faces. So glue now goes on you. And that should make the 95 stick around quicker. I do think this is crazy, though. It's very expensive, okay? And and what we, we should see is that 95 occasionally will show up for, like, a while. And and when it does, it's, it's real good. I got a new die. That must have been... We got... How did that happen? <laughs> How did that happen? I've already forgotten what I've put on my dice. It has to be this. Yeah. So now I just have this blank die. And that's okay. Um, I'll put you onto here. So that you can start rolling that. But the reality is I, I need to now get some other things going. Um, this is actually relatively cheap for just a, another big, big die. So let's let's get that three thousand. I would love to find a way to make this die um, just not exist 
much. 72, 41, 92, 25. Ooh, four is a rough number on there, though. Oh, I didn't even mark anything. I'm just spinning. <laughs> Let, let's re-roll here. A times two multiplier is still fantastic, okay? Half incrementer for 3,000. Okay, I add you. I'm, I'm in the, the house of adding dice. The more dice you add, the better things are going to go, okay? You, you taught me how to use the magnifying glass. I put that on this. Yeah, 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 yeah. That makes sense, okay? That makes a lot of sense. This is, this is good. This is good. We got good stuff. I really don't need this, but it is still interesting to me because it's actually now very cheap. And, and if I'm in the camp of producing dice, I might as well add some of this. And, and even like, I don't know. I think you reroll this. What, what I would really like to... What the hell is this? Replace a die face with a doubler. At the start of each complete roll, this face will be worth 32, but it doubles in value every two times the die is attached. Every two times the die it is attached to is re-rolled. A complete roll is a single roll of the die, including all subsequent re-rolls, which decreases the... You've broken me. You've broken me. After purchasing a shop item, the next item purchased from the shop will be more likely to appear in the shop's... I'm, I'm, I'm screwed, man. I'm absolutely screwed. This is a horrible die. I will not take you. 10 times die quantity multiplier. This face is worth 10 times the total amount of dice in play. That's perfect for me. We got a thousand in like two rolls right there. Put you on there. That's really good. This is another die rebate. I'm going, I'm going to, I'm going to put that on there again. I, I love me the, the die rebate. I don't know. I, I never clicked it for sure. <laughs> give me, give me you. I'm broken, man. I'm, I'm clearly struggling and that's, that's okay. Reroll the die it is attached to one additional time when it is, and when it is rolled. But this is a one times re-roller to all six faces on the die okay um this is a bottom left multiplier so i can't really do that this is actually fascinating to put it on you and then i just want to basically buff out this die down here but now i need a re-roller i need a re-roller on this die i need some some way to re-roll yeah, I think that that face I just played was not good. So I swap you. I can I can swap your positions. So swap you and you. Okay, that's better. Yeah, that's definitely better. We we got something going. Okay, we got something going. I think that these are are pretty bad. Um, I think I'm going to re-roll. Three times adjacency re-roller is great, okay? It's great, and it's cheap, to be honest with you. Three three rolls to, to do it. I take you. We're putting you on here. I think a two times is also completely fine. And we're just going to make the middle re-roll like a bunch. And and that's going to that's going to give us the, the ticket we deserve. So do that now, please. Incrementer to all six die faces. This is a top left multiplier or modifier. I think that we can definitely put that on this guy in the middle. And, and that's that's good. I get stuck in this menu way often, way more often than I'm proud to admit. So that's going to be actually very good. Add two dice with a numeric one on every face. We could do this and then throw the incrementer on it but that's now like 8,000 for that's that's tough <laughs> I I think that that's that's a hard one um it's a huge investment there's another rebate I'll put you here 
like, I, I'm, I'm trying, I'm, look, I'm making rebates work and it's not working. Let, let's add this reroll face. I'm going to put that on the middle die because we want to reroll the middle die to reroll all of the dice is the way that I see it. So this six turns into that. This adds a light weight that makes it more likely to be rolled as a bottom right modifier. I think you put that on your 95 on the bottom that's that's glued up, right? So now you roll more, which is just giving us 95s like over and over on that round. The incrementer is still valuable. You've got the half incrementer. You know what? I I think that this is still important. So let's do that. I think I'm I'm going to be upgrading my shop though. So give me the incrementer. We're putting you on this. And now I would like to re-roll. Adds a die with a random prime numeric <laughs> on every face. Okay. Here's my blank die generator again. Let's get another one of those because I'm I still think that in some planet that's going to be useful for me. So that replaces a face. Replace that on that two down there. Frankly, some of this, like, a, just putting a 30 on a die, this is ungodly cheap to do this. But let's, let's just do that. So that puts a 30, like, on this face right here that has Jack Diddley, that's fine. We'll, we'll just put a 30 on you. Then let's do this to get a new die. This should not be that many rolls, to be honest. It's, it's chonkin'. This is about 10, it was about 11 rolls, I think, to get that many, which is completely okay. So do this, that gives me a new die. Then I'm going to grab this, this incrementer. And the intention here is that I am going to add the six times incrementer to this die. That die is gonna get buffed up to an oblivion. Pretty good. Then give me, give me some prime dice. I'm, I'm out here with the intention of getting more dice, okay? So, new die. You you ended up being, but let's take a look at you. So you were, I mean, look, they're prime numbers. I, I don't know what we expected from it, right? That's that's kind of, that's kind of the gist of it. <laughs> you're, you're gonna get that. Now, I got more interesting things. So the loyalty card, every 1500 times this face is rolled, with the rerolls, I wonder if that ends up being worth it. I don't think it does, though. Okay, I, I don't think it does. I think I'm I'm high if I think that's gonna work. Now a five times adjacency multiplier. Five times the sum of all adjacent numeric die faces. Where where would you go? That's worth it. You would go on. I mean, you, you have to go, like, you got to continue to go on, on this. Which would no longer increment, but I think that that's actually fine. I think that's fine. So give me this, this five times banger. We're starting to get, like, a thousand a roll, man. It's, it's really pretty good. You're going right here. I'm going to re-roll the shop because I do not need this. Fourth shelf unlocked. Items purchased here are passive abilities that are always active. If the total quantity of dice in play is less than six, not gonna happen. Value of all lottery face is worth an additional, don't care. Five dice with a numeric one on every face for 29,000. That's a lot. Replace a die face with a numeric die shredder. Every 50 times this face is rolled, it will delete the most recently created die. Increases this die's shred value by the sum of all numeric faces on the delete die. You're fascinating, I don't think you're good. Increment acceptor? <laughs> Replace a die face with an increment acceptor. Although it's not numeric, this face can be incremented. What the frick are you talking about, dude? The value of this face permanently increases by one every time it is incremented. Every time an increment or half incrementer is attached to this die, permanently increases its value by 111. I'm I'm broken. This is this is too much. This is too much. A five times multiplier is completely fine. 
I'm just going like that's that's just nice value that we gain from that. So do this. I'm putting you on on a 99 up here. Okay. Six times reroller to to all. Does that already exist? T take a look at, at this die. There's a reroller on two of these. Adding that to all of them is pretty high value and only takes two rolls to do. <laughs> That's dope. <laughs> That's so good. We could also do it on this guy, which is actually even more fun in a lot of ways. Okay, I still need more dice though. The 29,000 adds a new number shown on a numeric face to itself, effectively doubling the value shown on the face. It's good, but it's it's not what I need. I think this is a reroll for me. Lottery faces that are adjacent to a numeric 7 or 77 are twice as lucky. Don't care. Reduce the number of rolls required to gain free shop refreshes. That's so good. So every 100 rolls... So it would be every 50 rolls I get another die. Dude, you have to go all in on this. Okay? I also saw that the virus is called the Dyrus, which is even better. But you have to go all in on this. It's so slow now, dude. Because there's so many re-rolls going on. <laughs> I, I, need, I need to change this. I need to change this to Ultra. Because we, we, need, we need to move quicker. <laughs> we need to move quicker. Okay. That's a huge passive. Then you can do a four times multiplier. We're just going to add multipliers to all these 99s. Okay, that's a 10 times multiplier. That's crazy. Dude, we're starting to we're starting to crank the value. Add these 10 times. Then you add this 5 times. We're we're going to be completely fine with that. I mean, it took very little rolls to get that. 5 times on you. We're we're buffing that die to an oblivion. What is the dirus? Replace a die face with a dirus. Face is worth the total quantity of dice in play. Also has a chance one rolled to replace an adjacent numeric die face with a dirus. If across all rolled dice there are zero numeric die faces, the value of all diruses will be multiplied by 10. You're fascinating, we can't take you, okay? Die with random die rebate faces. That's so fun, okay. I, I must do it. I must do it. Because now I'm generating dice like crazy. I'm I'm just going for how many dice can I have? That's that's my my ticket to success. And I'm I'm just going to come out here doing it. Replace a die face with a 3 times multi numeric multiplier, most common numeric face in the roll. This is I am I am re-rolling, okay? I I am re-rolling. Lottery bonus, value of all numeric faces that are less than 13 will be increased by 1000. Uh, yeah, you know what? That's completely fine. I think that that's good for me because we're going to be making new dice like crazy. So it's going to increase the value of them by a lot. What is this? Void dice? A die with a void on five of its faces and a random prime numeric on one. When this face is not rolled, it doubles the value of whichever... F the <laughs> what the frick? It doubles the value of whichever face is rolled, otherwise has no value. I, I don't care about you. This is lottery faces. Don't care about you either. Refresh die shredder? No, I don't I don't want you. Blank die generators are still they're still sick though. I have so many blank dice, man. That I, I need to just get that going, okay? Multi any adjacency things are also good. So do this. And, and then really the ticket now is we want to swap dice themselves, okay? Multipliers are also good for these high high 90s. Put it on you. I, I want to swap dice positions. Yes, this right here. That's, that's a huge value. We're getting over 2,000 a turn right now. So die swap, we're moving you into the middle. So we'll put you right here. Okay. Five times numeric. It's also good. It's just, it's it's slow, but it's good. Eventually, we reach the point where we have to decide 
that we're ready to tap out and just run this as long as it can. Which is fun, um, but it's we, we really have to make that decision, right? A wait could be interesting. 1777s. Don't care. Um, this is, uh, I mean, it's just, it's just crazy. We, we take that to the bank as well. And this is all just going to roll so fast, man. It's going to roll so fast. I mean, these are also, they're, it's just worth it for us to add more dice, man. I, I understand that it doesn't benefit some of the stuff that we just did, but... 97s on dice. I mean, where are you going to be upset about it? <laughs> just just keep it coming. Even this is like, okay, a 10% chance for it to be worth uh, 2,500. You, you take that, I think. You just take that and run with it. And you put it on some of these. Like any of these, any of these should just go onto tiles. Okay. Like it, it's cheap for us to do this. So just buy out all of these the shredder we the, we care less about <laughs> reroll me there, oh, there's so much going on this is a void face when this face is not rolled it doubles the value of whichever face is rolled okay <laughs> it's just a lot total quantity of dice is less than 30 that's not going to be the case on a reroll, if the rerolled face and the previous rolled face are both numerics, the value of the previous rerolled face is added to the current face. <laughs> okay. <laughs> I think that's fine. I mean, we can add a lottery die. Let, let's get a little interesting, right? It's like 10 rolls for me to get some of this. I, I think that maybe I've I've created a nice little, nice little infinite. This is also good. I mean, this game is always big number simulator, so you're always going to get... Um, very large numbers. I think that the, the void die is also interesting, but I'm, I'm choosing to just not do anything with it at the current moment. I'm just going to keep on adding faces, man. There's no reason not to just keep adding. It's one roll for me to buy this stuff. It's never ending. The hardest part is I'm going to blast through my rerolls doubles the value of whichever face was rolled. Let, let's, let's, let's put this on something. I don't know what I'm putting it on. Doubles the value of whichever face is rolled. So we can just put you on like this, right? And, and that's decent. Six times incrementer. It's, it's definitely worth it. Just on some of these die dice that have nothing, right? Just just put an incrementer on them and start it creating values. This is also interesting, but I'm I'm going to I'm going to pass restock me. 5 times sale, remove all currently owned and future passive abilities, reduce all shop prices by 80. Multiply the value of all dice by 5. What in the world are you talking about? This is insanity. <laughs> Multiplies the value of all dice by five. <laughs> Am I crazy? This is so good. I'm going to take it. I'm, I'm going to take it. Maybe that was stupid, but I, I think it's fine. Another rebate die. Absolutely. I mean, like, all of the dice are... I'm getting... Are you seeing this right now? <laughs> I'm getting, like, 10,000 a roll. Just add dice. Like, whatever you do, just add dice. Every 50 times this face is rolled, it will increase the number of shop refreshes. Brother, I, I can't. I, I'm, I can't be trusted with that power. Everything is so cheap. <laughs> it's so cheap. It, this is... It's insanity. This is too much money. I think I'm I'm going to tell you I'm approaching the point I think you I think you send it. Okay? I think you just send Except there's there's no reason to send it, man. I can get this stuff for so cheap cuz we're generating so many dice. 
right? Like, I, I have to just... I have to keep it going. A quantity die? Uh, just just add another, brother. Maximum die? Add another. I got 290,000 right now. I mean, sure. Add a blank die. I got so many rebate dice. Just, just add everything. And, and, like, literally everything you see, buy it and just... <laughs> just put it on. This might be psychotic, but I it's it's correct. Six times incrementer. Yeah. Even glue like is interesting, but put put this here. Refresh me. Buy the dice. I got too much money. I, I, I'm I got way too much money, and we're just gonna keep on making more dice, man. It's it's never ending the dice making. I think that I put that void on the wrong one. I'm getting over like a hundred thousand a click. I think I think you I think you just pay out. Okay, I think you pay out. This this stuff is is way too. There's too many decisions for my ass to make right now. This is a number of dice times thirty multiplier. Do you realize what that's going to do for me by the end of this game? I can just re-roll forever. I mean, I, I have infinite money. Money is... Money is irrelevant at this point. Re-roll re in the middle. Die phase with a 99 die generator? <laughs> what the frick? Just put this on, like, everything. It's another die rebate. We got incrementers, we got two times re-rollers. It's, it's chaos. I'm just going to keep on buying more dice. When do you stop? When when do you look at this and go, it's, it's time to go? <laughs> I don't know. Okay, I don't know. You add a clover. It's, it's just mayhem. It's just mayhem. I think you tap out shortly and you just roll this and see and see where it goes. I don't even really care about like fully maximizing. We'll, we'll be here for the rest of the day if I fully maximize. But I think that you, you do want to at least see how, how this looks <laughs> of just, just running it. Okay. I'm sending it. Just go. Okay. It's, it's, it's a good number of millions. And it's, it's making new dice as we go. It's making a million new dice, man. I mean, we're, we're in the 17 millions realm. The thing is, I know that billions is, is not a hard thing to get in this game. I think that probably locking my... Uh, oh, are you seeing this? 170,000? For this die? Why did all of the prices just go through the roof, man? I'm probably missing something that... uh. We're also now at the highest shop level. Okay. Die, die quantity generators. Numeric die. This is wild. Worth the same amount as the highest scoring die face. Oh, I'll put you up there. <laughs> and then multiply it by three. Oh, I can't do that? Okay, fair. I, I don't know. Just put it on here. <laughs> It's too much. It's too my 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 tiny little brain is not is not smart enough for a game like this. You you gotta realize that. Like even incrementers. What what the hell am I supposed to do with an incrementer these days? This is a modified die. Sure, throw it in. S Sixty thousand. It's nothing. This is like asking Bezos to give you a penny. The dude's gonna look at you. He's never seen a a penny in his life. Okay. You see this 77-7 uh, die down here? That's an interesting one. This has a 1% chance to be worth 77,000. Are you are you kidding me? Give me another rebate die. Let let it go. I don't know what these previous roll modifiers are, but I'm I'm intrigued by it. I'm just buying everything. Just just buy everything. And then, you know what? Come back here. Roll roll your ass out, okay? 20 20 something million. I'm going to hold down the button as long as I can. 
I do think that this is not as effective as what some other people will make in this game. This is too many dice, though. Like, I, I went for the create a million dice play. And I think the reality is that it's, it's not the most effective way to play. You want to build a very specific synergy in. An exact duplicate of an existing die. I don't know. This one. I don't, even, I don't even think that was the correct play. I probably have better ones. Total reroll multiplier. Sure. Put you here. <laughs> it's another lottery die. Building a lottery deck is an interesting idea. For sure. Add zero to the number shown on numeric... What are you talking about? The RNG. Completely random faces. 933,000. Okay. Okay. Another one? Sure, send it. Why not? Another another wild slow. I got so many empty dice, man. Some of these dice are, are insanity. 50 times total number of dice in play. That's going to do pretty good. <laughs> That's going to be a pretty good one. A new breeding die. Breeding die just makes dice. Oh my lord. It's too many dice. I'm I'm in hell. It's too many dice. Another rebate die is good too though, so I I'm stuck thinking that that's a positive. It's a million every like five rolls, give or take. I mean I suppose we can literally see, right? Total score for the last roll was three hundred and eight thousand. Yeah, so it's about three hundred thousand a roll is what we're seeing. Occasionally we hit like a, a for one. I mean some some of these faces are, are still wild. You're gonna hit you're gonna hit these lotteries every once in a while. Um and and that's when it, it goes crazy. <laughs> what is this? Replace a die face, the value of all dice directly to the right. Times two. <laughs> okay. <laughs> sure. Times two the value of all other non-slow dice. That just seems great, really. Um, put you on there. I did just it's it's unnecessary. It's unnecessary. It's mayhem. Pure pure unadulterated mayhem. We could even go with like these die shredders, man. Put put a die shredder in. We're we're gonna be shredding way too much. And we want a super weight on... I, I, I gotta zoom in and see. We want the super weight... We, there's a 50 times number of dice. We want the weight to hit that every time. Okay? Send it. Yeah, we improved. We improved. We're, we're hitting some, some millies every once in a while in here. I'm, I'm, I'm running it out. I'm running out the clock. Okay? I'm running out the clock. Let's let's take our our win. We'll, we'll be over 250 million. There's no there's no win, right? It's just what what the highest score is that you can do. We'll we'll be over 300 million. You're running low on scores. Don't don't worry. <laughs> don't worry. I I rolled out. All right. I rolled out. 300 and, uh, 360 million. It's not even going to be close on the leaderboard. Just just so that you're aware. We we really popped off over here. <laughs> Very interesting. Final die count, 152. <laughs> Most points from a complete die roll, 2,258,000. Interesting. And this was on the tutorial seed. I mean, I'll, I'll submit my, my score. It's not going to be the highest, okay? There's going to be people that... Yeah, I mean, like, 2.33 times E to the 44th. <laughs> I'm I'm in one thousand one thousandth place. Um, obviously, some of these scores are clinically insane, um, but I I like my score to be honest. Um, we would have been here for the rest of our life if we did that otherwise. But what a game to be honest. Roll. Um, I would love to try the quick and and just see what we can do with it, as I, I think that that's a, a unique idea. There's also the the weekly challenge, which I think is cool too, um, where they just kind of give you some stuff. One of your dice is sick with a dirus and cannot be cured. 
so then you start messing with virus i think it's a, a really neat idea what what uh, the developer has done with the game i still love this one it, my brain is not big enough for it but it's a fun game nonetheless thanks so much for watching if you guys enjoyed and you want to see more roll let me know and i'll, I'll play some more and, and see what we can do but for now thanks so much for watching i'll see you guys in the next video have a good rest of your day bye bye